Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for how your person is feeling about you for the rest of July and August. So if you have a specific person in mind and you're interested in finding out more about how they see you, what they like, what they don't like about the dynamic between you both, or just generally how they feel about you and what their overall level of interest is in pursuing a relationship for the rest of July and August, then keep on watching. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So you may also like to watch the readings for the zodiac sign of your person, as sometimes the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. With all that being said, let's get into the reading. So Taurus, let's get into it. How does your person feel about you for the rest of July and August 2020. We've got a particular person in mind. We're going to have a look at how they see you, um, how they're going to come across to you, what their feelings for you are, uh, what they like, what they don't like about the connection that you two have, and what in their mind is the potential for um, pursuing a relationship with you. So let's see... Taurus's person is feeling what they're thinking and how they're coming across to Taurus this month. Taurus, how do they feel? Taurus, how do they feel? does your person feel? So Taurus, what an amazing first card to get in your reading. This person is seeing you as the Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. Um, this card is all about new beginnings in love. They probably see you as someone who is looking for a relationship, is looking for, you know, the start of an emotional connection with someone. You could be recently single and now have become available and so you're ready to, to start something new. They also see you as someone quite emotional or at least quite in touch with your emotions. You're capable of communicating about your feelings quite well. You're also someone who's capable of loving very deeply. They see you as probably a very intuitive person. Maybe you make decisions in your life based on what feels right to you intuitively. And you're also very capable of self-love, Taurus. So you know when to take a break. You know when to take care of yourself and give yourself... Um, the time, energy, self-care, self-love that you need. You know when to take a breather and just really sort of put yourself first. They might see you because of the sort of emotional maturity here. They might see you as quite a mature person, someone who's potentially quite wise beyond your years. They would also see you as a very, very caring, loving type person. Like you really sort of care deeply about the people that are close to you in your life, your family, your friends, um, your loved ones. They see you as caring very, very deeply about, about those people. They might also see you as somewhat of a healer, so, um, or a counselor or something like that. Maybe that's not what you do for work. I mean, your work could be something to do with 
um, counseling or you could be like a medical or health professional or something like that but in any case even if that's not what you do specifically for work they could you see you as someone who people go to for counseling and and healing or someone who you know is a good sort of I guess shoulder to cry on or someone who's going to be really good at, at hearing them out really really beautiful first card the next card I pulled um, I wanted to see how your person is coming across and I got the eight of swords here so could be dealing with an air sign um, Gemini Aquarius um, specifically I get Gemini vibes from this card for some reason um, but Gemini Aquarius or, or Libra it doesn't have to be um, or they could have that in their chart somewhere but this person is it's like they're in their head a lot they're really they're coming across like they're really overthinking things over analyzing things It could be that they're kind of trapped in indecision. Like you, you're ready for some kind of new beginning. This person is not so sure because they're just, they're not sure about what they want. I think they're just kind of, like I said, over analyzing what it would mean to get into a relationship or progress the current relationship further. Um, they're really, really anxious and fearful about that for some reason. Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting a lack of clarity here in general and maybe making small problems or things that aren't really a problem into a bigger problem potentially just because they're thinking about it too much. They're just still trying to figure things out, I think, and they've just got too many like what if scenarios going on in their head, I feel. So that kind of sucks um, in terms of how they're coming across to you. But this card here is how this person feels about you. And we've got another really, really positive card to get in a love reading. So four of wands, um, you basically make this person really happy. So whatever the confusion is, I'm not sure what the details of that are, but feelings wise and emotions wise, you make this person really happy actually. I feel like they like the, because you're such a stable person, they like the stability that you could bring or that you already bring to their life and to the connection. They do feel quite an intimate connection with you. They feel like you could be someone who they want to celebrate with. You know, they want to go through sort of the, the joys of life with. They might even be thinking of like, um, that you could be a, a person they could easily live with if you haven't sort of, if you're not living together already, um, someone, so they've, they've thought about like moving in with you or they've thought about maybe even taking things to the next level. Um, this is sometimes a card of like celebrate, it's a card of celebration. So it could even be some kind of event, like an engagement or marriage or something like that. Um, but in general, they have those thoughts. They've, I mean, they've, They've thought about so many scenarios <laughs> that um, that they probably have considered um, all the kind of future directions that this this connection could go in. Um, but overall, this is a really really happy, nice card, and I I think they feel like you guys could be very compatible with each other in quite a practical way. So that's really really nice. Um, this is a card for what this person likes about you and we've got the eight of pentacles here so again this this speaks of a lot of stability like you're a hard-working person you may be trying to um, increase your skills or um, or you're you know you're working towards something whether that's um, stability in relationships or whether that's in your actual work They feel like, yeah, you're maybe a very detail-focused person. You want to achieve a lot when it comes to your career and your finances. You're willing to grow not only as a person, but you're willing to put in a lot of work and effort into your relationship. 
You're not sort of afraid of the hard work. You're not afraid to, um, you know, come across difficulties or challenges together. You're willing to put the effort in and you're not, you're not afraid of doing that. You know what you want in life, what you want to achieve, and you're willing to go for it. So that's amazing. What they don't like about this connection, we've got here the King of Wands. So they might see you as a bit of a stubborn person sometimes. What? A Taurus? Stubborn? No way. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> crazy talk. So they might... um. They might not always like your um, your stubbornness. Sometimes you might come across as a bit inflexible or even bossy. You know, your, your strength of will, Taurus, can be a positive thing, obviously, but it can also come across as a negative thing sometimes if you're too inflexible um, or if you're too kind of yeah, rigid in the way you want to get things done. It can come across as, as stubborn and, and bossy sometimes. They could even be a little bit intimidated by you. You know, they see you as someone who's kind of got your stuff together. People look up to you. People respect you, whether that's in work or whether that's in your personal life, your friends, family and other loved ones. Um, you know, they're stuck in this kind of eight of swords energy of not knowing what they want, but you've got your stuff together. So they could find that a little bit intimidating actually. Final card we've got here for their overall level of in interest in um, either starting a relationship or, or taking it to the next level. And we've got the four here, which is really nice. I really like um, this energy for a, how do they feel about you reading? Because it's all about excitement and new beginnings and being ready to take a leap of faith. If they already know you and you guys are already in a connection, it could be that they're sort of discovering new feelings that they have um, for you as they're learning more about you and as you're experiencing more things together. This is really growing. I really like that this has come out as the kind of overall um, overall desire for what they want in terms of pursuing a relationship because it's nice to see that after the the indecision or the over analysis of this card they've progressed to saying you know what there are always going to be you know risks or unforeseeable things in the future and sometimes it's just a matter of going for it because you can never predict the outcome even if you kind of analyze and go over every situation in your mind you still won't be any closer to knowing what the future is going to hold and at some point you need to just say screw it i want to take a risk and just go for it with this person so i'm really really happy that we've ended with this energy this is a really positive reading so um i hope that you're happy with that for this month of August, Taurus.